when there's sleepers, there's obviously also busts. And unfortunately, one of the sleepers from last year, who I think may be a bust in 2018, is our guy, Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake led me to a championship. He led you to a championship. He almost led our combined team to a championship. But it just ultimately wasn't enough. And now, instead of just giving him the opportunity to run with it, both literally and figuratively, the Dolphins brought in Frank Gore, who I'm quite sure didn't sign with his hometown team to sit on the bench. When asked about it, Adam Gaze said, yeah, they're both starters. And then he called himself you know, what he called himself. And that's where fantasy owners are. You want to invest in Kenyon Drake. You want to like Kenyon Drake. But quite simply, you can't. There's a lot of guys going near Drake's ADP that I think are safer. Marshawn Lynch being one of them. Carlos Hyde going a little bit later being one of them. Kenyon Drake has a lot of risk. I know what the reward is, but I just don't think the risk is going to be worth it. I'm out this year on Kenyon Drake. Yeah, the talent is absolutely there with Kenyon Drake, but the situation is worrisome. I mean, for multiple reasons, Greg. Uh, normally, when you're looking at a running back like this, you want to see what did they do in the offseason? Do they really trust Kenyon Drake all that much? All the team went out and did was sign Frank Gore, and then they draft Kalen Balazs as well. So, first off the bat, that's telling me that maybe they don't trust Kenyon Drake as their workhorse running back. Also playing against him is the fact that their offensive line is not very good this year. Speaking of their offensive line, overall, this team is not going to be great. Like Ryan Tannehill, he's been around for a while, journeyman quarterback, whatever it might be. Uh, they have a mishmash of wide receivers here. They have Kenny Stills. They lost Jarvis Landry. I don't know how many scoring opportunities Kenyon Drake is even going to get. So I think the talent is there, but I worry about the opportunity with Frank Gore being there, Kalen Balazs, uh, the team not being all that great. I think they're going to be trailing in a lot of games that normally doesn't lend itself uh, to running backs getting carries in the fourth quarter. So for those reasons, where he's going in the fourth round, I think it's just too high of a price to pay for him right now. Is Frank Gore then a sleeper for you, Frank? No, I think these guys are going to kind of cannibalize each other. I, I, you know, I think maybe uh, Frank Gore gets 8 to 10 touches per game. Maybe Kenyon Drake gets 12, 15. And then even Kalen Balaj is going to get worked in there a few times too. I mean, you know, five, six touches a game. So all those guys just there taking away from each other, I don't know that we're really going to have a fantasy-relevant running back in Miami this season.